Hello guys and welcome here on the channel on Explorers on Two Wheels. I am Robert and today we are talking about the new model of Carpuride W702 Pro model. I had used for about 15,000 kilometers now the previous model, not the Pro one, and the smaller one. The W502 model, it's a very nice one, small, but it does its job. Okay. Today we are talking about this new product. Carporite had sent me this uh, new model because they wanted to make a test and a review and to test it in long term because we are uh, travelers with our motorbike. We had just come home from our Norway trip and it would be nice if we have had this one in this trip because this new product has a lot of new functions that helps you in uh, some certain uh, conditions. I want to tell you the most important things that is uh, different from the previous model. And here we talk about the dual Bluetooth connection. That means that the Carporide connects with the phone, with your intercom, and also with your passenger intercom. So both you can listen uh, music from your phone or from YouTube or whatever you, you want to listen. Maybe from your SD card. Maybe if you want to listen both of uh, the route or you can talk to each other between your intercoms. Also has this new feature, the automatic brightness for your IPS screen. That's a very, very nice feature. And uh, that's why I said before, it would be nice that if we have had this uh, new project in our Norway trip, because there were a lot of tunnels. And if you are with the brightness at the maximum, but you enter in a tunnel, it's a bit too bright for your eyes. But this new model comes now with this adjustment, so it will be everything fine. Also, it has barometer. That means that you can uh, see in real time your altitude you can see where is the north the south so it helps if you are uh, doing some off-road or remote terrains you have all these nice features let's go and unbox it the product comes very nice packed in this box we have these uh, foam protections we have here the instructions, the manual, the nice 7 inch carpuride, very very nice made, seems to be very quite worked nicely, everything it's, it's perfect, here we have the power button, here we have the SD slot, This is the bracket, the mount system, yes, that comes on the handlebar, and this one comes here. We have the two connections, the two cables. One is this with USB, and this one comes here. Very nicely connected and everything is fine. And the other one, is this cable that comes with a fuse and you have to connect it to your battery directly. You have a spare fuse. Also you have this nice small key to can work here to mount the bracket. And you have this little adapter or mount system. I don't know exactly how it works. We have the screws and everything. First of all, we have to power on this thing. So I have this uh, cable with the USB port. Only in one way can connect this. Yes, you have these two pins, plus and minus. Put it in. Have this little protection here. And automatically, when we put here the USB, we have to press the button and the carpool ride turns on. 
This is the main menu, very similar with the other model that I have, with the W502 model. Here we have the CarPlay connection or uh, Android Auto. Here we have the audio output, the functions that I said with the barometer. Here we have the north, the south, the west, east, and we have the altimeter. We are now at 461 meters in elevation. We go back to the main menu. Here you can see your phone list. Here you have the Bluetooth connection if you want to listen to music. Your SD card where you can play music or videos. And here we have the settings, language, system version, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Now I have to pair my phone in the car ride. First of all, you have to connect your phone with the carpool ride, your phone with the intercom and the carpool ride with the intercom. So you have to go here to audio output and here you make the connections. Yes, here you have the BT Trans. Here you have to connect the carpool ride with the intercom and automatically appears this. It's not so complicated, but you, you have to get used to, to make these connections. Once you made it, it's everything fine. I hope you get the idea. You have to play a little bit here with these connections, but everything is here. You have to play around here between the Bete Trans with your intercom and here to switch if you want to connect with your phone only once and then it's everything fine. Every time you start your carpool ride and your intercom you have here selected the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth must to be on and then everything connects automatically. And now here we have a comparison view between these two carpool rides. We have here my old one, yes, the W502 and here we have the new one, the W702 Pro model, 7 inches, 5 inches. You can decide which is better for you, but I think both of them looks great. This will be huge here. If you have the possibility, you can mount it somewhere here, if you have this nice uh, mounting system. And this is how it looks in the new configuration. Yes, it's a bit large, but I think it will be good. I can see here everything good. Okay, guys, let's see how the touch screen works with my summer gloves. I want to see the altitude. I press twice here, exit. I go here to the mountings. And we have here the barometer. We are now at 453 meters and we are going down. We were a few minutes ago at 470 meters. And yes, it works. 444 meters. Perfect, let's go back to the map. And guys, if you are interested to buy this carpool ride or another model, not this W702. If you think it's too big, you can uh, choose the smaller one, or if you have the BMW model, you have uh, these models with the B at the end. You have all the links in the description, and please don't forget to use my code to have 30% discount. Use LUCI50 and you will have almost or around $100 discount. As I said before, the previous model, this 5-inch model, I had used it in the Norway trip and it was very, very nice. I love this product. So this 7-inch now, pha, it will be great. A bit more bigger, so I see everything uh, much better. And now at the end I want to show you the adjustment of the brightness. I found it here, the 
sensor and if I put my finger there you can see on the camera that the brightness is very low and if I take away my uh, finger you can see clearly that it's uh, more brighter 